Hi, my name is Andy Cranston and in this video I'm going to show you the power of serial over IP access. I'm going to set up serial over IP access for these three devices that I have in my home lab. The first thing is to add serial cables to all three of these devices. The next stage is to add USB to serial converters. And then the next phase is to plug those USB serial converters into a Raspberry Pi power up the Raspberry Pi and connect it to my network. I'm logged into the Raspberry Pi and the three USB to serial converters appear as these device files slash dev slash tty USB 0 through to USB 2. I can use the call up command to access one of those devices. specify the speed and this is the Cisco Catalyst switch. And that's its running configuration. We disconnect and we're all done. I've made access easier by writing a command called serial menu which displays the available devices. It's simply a case of choosing the device you want to connect to. Log in, perform whichever work you need to and then close the session down and the command completes. Not only does that make things easier but a side effect of using the serial menu command is that we have a record of that session. If I change into this directory and look at the files that I have here, I have this file ending .txt and this is a copy of the session that I just logged into. Very handy. If we look again at the files there's also a file that ends .tim and there's a very handy command in Linux called script replay and if we provide it with this .tim file which stands for timing and the file that contains a copy of the transcript watch what happens. It basically replays the login session in real time. This can be exceptionally useful for audit purposes. And there we go. If you have any questions or would like a copy of the Serial Menu software, then please get in touch. My details are on the screen now.